Hi Wagwan, this is Karian from Karian's Cravings. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be making jerk shrimp tacos two different ways. So we're going to be making a jerk shrimp taco topped with a creamy sriracha sauce and homemade cilantro lime coleslaw. So delicious. As well as a jerk shrimp taco topped with a homemade mango salsa. Of course, no taco is complete without guacamole and that's homemade too. So if this sounds good to you, stick around and let's get started. So to start out, I am removing my shrimp from the bag and I am using large shrimp with tail on. They've been peeled and deveined. So I'm going to go ahead and remove all the tails before I get started. So once you've removed all the tails from your shrimp, you want to go ahead and soak them in some lemon or lime and cold water. Um, we're doing this to remove some of the rawness from the shrimp and we're going to allow these to soak for about three to five minutes. Once we're finished soaking, we're going to go ahead and throw that water off and rinse it with some fresh cold water and drain it and pat our shrimp completely dry. So now that our shrimp has been cleaned up, now we're ready to add our jerk seasoning. We want to add some flavor to our shrimp. Now I'm using my Spartree Hill um, jerk season because that's my favorite at the moment. But whatever your favorite is or whatever jerk sauce you have on hand, that's what you're going to use. I'm going to measure my jerk seasoning. I'm just going to depend on my ancestors on this one to tell me when to stop. But you can add to taste if you are like your shrimp more spicy, if you can tolerate more heat, then you can definitely add more um, jerk seasoning. And if your tolerance level is low, then you'll definitely go in with the minimal amount. Then I'm going to drizzle some vegetable oil and add some salt to my shrimp. So those are the only flavors I'm going to be using. I don't want to have too many competing flavors because I want to be able to taste the robust flavors of the jerk seasoning as well as have the shrimp flavor be present. So now you're going to massage your shrimp to incorporate all your seasoning into your shrimp. Now you don't have to worry about writing all of this down because I'm going to link all the ingredients and measurements in the description box for you. Also while we're here hanging out and massaging our seasoning in our shrimp, um, make sure that you subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell so you're first to be notified once a new recipe drops. So we're going to cover our bowl and allow our shrimp to sit for 30 minutes so our seasoning can start penetrating our shrimp. This will make our jerk shrimp even more flavorful. So to get started, I'm going to heat up my vegetable oil on medium-high heat on my cast iron grill pan. We want to allow this oil to get nice and hot, so we're going to heat it up for about two to three minutes. So we're going to go ahead and place our shrimp in our pot one by one. Now you want to do this quickly because as you know, shrimp um, takes a very short time to cook. So we're going to cook these um, for about two minutes on each side. Now you don't want to overcrowd the pot, so you don't want to place the shrimp on top of each other. So we're going to do these in batches. These jerk shrimp smell so delicious right now. So once the tail of our shrimp starts to become opaque, they start to turn pink, they know it's time to turn them. So we're only going to be cooking them for about two minutes on each side. So don't forget, that's very important because we do not want to overcook our shrimp. So once our shrimp is nice and pink, you want to go ahead and remove them and add um, the second batch and you'll keep repeating this process until all your shrimp has been cooked. shrimp is done so we're gonna go ahead and just taste one you have to taste one and these are so hot right now but um mm, these are so spicy these are so good so now we're ready to assemble our tacos let's start with my mango taco now a recipe of how I made this mango salsa is on my YouTube you can check out my Cinco de Mayo um, playlist and um, the guacamole is up in that same playlist as well. 
and I will also link them in the description box for you. So I'm setting up my assembly line. Now you can reheat your um, tortilla if you want. You can go ahead and heat them on the, the open flame for about 30 seconds each side or you can use um, your skillet and heat them without oil um, for about 30 seconds each side as well. So I'm going to go in with a generous amount of my guacamole. I'm going to place it in the middle. I'm going to pile it in the middle and then I'm going to use my spreader and spread it outwards. So there is no right or wrong way of assembling a taco. Um, it's completely up to you. You could put as much or as little of any ingredients um, as you see fit. So next I'm going in with my jerk shrimp and I'm going to add enough pieces so I can have um, shrimp in every bite of my taco. Then I'm going to top it with this delicious homemade salsa. Mmm, smells so good. Can't wait for my first bite. This is the perfect flavor combination combined in the spiciness from the jerk shrimp and the sweet from the mango in the mango salsa. This is so, so good. And then we'll garnish with our cilantro. And here you have it, my loves, our delicious jerk shrimp taco topped with our delicious homemade mango salsa and homemade guacamole. Now we're ready to build taco number two. So now we're ready to um, assemble taco number two, which is our jerk shrimp tacos with creamy sriracha sauce and cilantro lime coleslaw. So the recipe of how I make the cilantro lime coleslaw is on my YouTube channel. I will link it in the description box for you. So our creamy sriracha sauce is super easy to make. It's literally ranch dressing mixed with sriracha sauce and you will add the sriracha sauce to taste. So we're going to add these two ingredients to our mixing bowl and mix to combine. And then we'll mix until we have a nice uniform color. Look how gorgeous that is. And that's it. And we'll set our sauce aside. So we're going to set up our assembly line like we did the last time. So we're going to add our guacamole and spread it across our tortilla. And then we're going to go in and add our jerk shrimp. Now you want to add enough again so um, you have shrimp in every single bite. So we're going to um, add a generous amount of our delicious cilantro lime coleslaw and then we're going to drizzle that creamy sriracha sauce on top. And of course you'll top it all off with some fresh cilantro but for some reason that um, footage was not recorded. And there you have it my loves, our jerk shrimp tacos with our creamy sriracha sauce and cilantro coleslaw. And there we have our jerk shrimp tacos done two ways just for you. Now I thank you for tuning in and hanging out with me today and I hope you will give these recipes a try as well as give this video a thumbs up. Now if you haven't already subscribed to our channel, I invite you to subscribe now and hit that notification bell. As always, one love and stay blessed my friends.